Hello, my brothers and sisters. James Parks from James Parks Corporation TV Ministries. About a year ago, I posted a video about me going back to church after the shutdown for COVID. So churches were shutting down because of COVID because they didn't want people to get sick and enter the kingdom sooner than later. All right. So under this video called Gathering the Saints, Roger Metzger had some concerns and questions for me on my page. All right. I am not a pastor, but I am a minister, all right? We are all ministers in our own rights, amen? Always sharing the gospel. So I want to see if I could represent this channel here and, and give some answers there. All right, so his first concern is that are not being met is saying that there should be other ways of measuring success of SDA evangelism besides the number count, besides head count. Because head count can change. It's not always accurate, right? It's like the church could have 300 members only 12 people show up online and one of those people is the pastor's wife right amen all right so you say that there should be a way of measuring sj success evangelism i want to say to that roger that is there a way for us to measure success that's that's a question right there i don't know if there is because to measure the success that's more of like an end time thing in the kingdom in the kingdom we will understand what success will, will happen here right we will have the stars in our crowns. But right now, right now, how do you measure that? We don't know the heart. Only God knows the heart. So if you can find a way to measure the success of SD evangelism, please let me know. I am young in years. All right. Roger also wants to encourage people to understand enough so they are less likely to be deceived. And understand enough, I want to say he's saying about the word, about God, about the light. If I miss saying something, please let me know. But I think he's talking about the light, the truth, the gospel. That people won't will be less likely to be deceived by the, the false messiah. And I don't like the word false messiah. I like antichrist. That's more of my word right there. Like against Christ. It's like the person that's acting like they are Christ. You know, saying that they, like blasphemous person. They're like saying they are Christ, but they are not. And they're leading people astray. That's kind of like the person I'm, I'm thinking he's talking about here. We'll be less likely to be deceived by the Antichrist in the end of time. So yeah, I believe truth is almost like gas, right? People are working on finding the most bang for the buck. Going from gas station to gas station. Here in California, gas can be about $5.80 or $6.10 per gallon. So... I think a lot of people are working on going to the place with the most most value for their buck. I think the same way people are searching for churches or truth the same way. They'll go to the church with the most value. Perhaps they have kids and they, there's a church with a nursery. Perhaps there's a kids program and they really like that. Or perhaps they tithe greatly and their tithe is going to the church audio system. So they... They love the audio in the church they're going there, or perhaps the truth. The truth is so substantial that that's the church they're going for. I think the truth is like gas. People go for the most value for what they're looking for. All right. Uh, Roger says, is there any reason that Adventists stop being members between 1845 and 1860? So I can see here based on his question and the time there, is that he is well read in Adventist history. So what happened pretty much around the time the Adventist church was created was there was a great disappointment. The great disappointment was when people were studying profusely their Bibles, right? And they're like, Jesus is coming. 1844. I know it. I can feel it in my spirit. He's on his way. And what happened the, the morning of 1844? God did not come. They're still in their street clothes. They still got dirt on them. There's still tears in their eyes. There's still sadness in their hearts. They're like, man, this ain't this ain't the move. This is canceled. A lot of people lost their faith because they weren't studying as as much as they should have, right? They weren't studying as deeply as they could have. So they lost their way. Many people sold their farms. They sold their chickens. They were ready, ready to be translated. But it didn't happen. And the Lord still hasn't come. That's why a lot of people have lost their religion. But brothers and sisters, let's study our word. Let's get into a word and study that.
Amen. So I believe the reason people stopped being members in 1845 to 1860 is because they, they saw that whatever prophets or people were saying did not come true. And they're like, this is false. This is false right here. Okay, let's see. And Roger Metzger here wants, wants uh, there to be a creation of a, an evangelistic association, not necessarily with the name of church, to encourage people to trust the Lord. <coughs> I am not 100% sure, but I am 75% sure that such associations do exist right now. But if, if the fact exists that they don't exist, Roger, I encourage you with something that my mom encouraged me with. She was like, be the change you want to see. Be the change you want to see. She told me that many times. So I'm saying to you, Roger, I know you're 77, but you still have life. The Lord has blessed you with hands that touch, feet that walk, eyes that see, and, and a mouth that can talk. So if the Lord has put you in this or put this on your heart to start an association to encourage people to trust the Lord, you should do that. Don't let me take you off that track. Don't let me stop you. Make it happen. You know? Many things have happened to people that were in their old age. That was impossible, right? Sarah had a child when she was like, what, 90, 94 and a half? Don't quote me on the age, but she was in her 90s, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So the Lord is still working in your life, and I encourage you to make it happen with the help of God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, all of that, and your brothers and sisters in Christ. So thank you for your support, prayers, and God bless.